All right, guys, it's Mots over here at RevoHTPC.com. Uh, today, uh, Adobe released the brand new official release of Flash 10.1, which uses hardware acceleration. Uh, if you've been following the site, we've already been through multiple betas and seven release, uh, release candidates. And now officially, it is officially, officially released and open to everybody that doesn't want to go through the trouble of updating the release clients every week. Um, so, like normal, I want to put a few, show you guys a little do video, uh, do a little video review to see uh, how it performs. So far, I'm pretty much impressed with it. Um, I already did this video once. However, YouTube thought that uh, I did some infringement on Fox, so I took out anything that has to do with Fox at all. And now we're just going to go over some other content. So the first thing we're inside of Internet TV. Um, and this is going to be a clip from um, an upcoming fall preview show on CBS, which is Shit My Dad Says, which was off a Twitter account. So it's going to be using Flash. Um, and we've noticed in the past that Internet TV inside of Windows Media Center is kind of one of the hardest um, and trickiest areas just because you're already using Media Center, which already takes a lot of CPU usage. So usually Flash video has been a little iffy in here um, but however I will say I've tested out a few videos and so far so good I'm pretty much impressed even the little previews and, and uh, advertisements seem to be playing all right as well so we'll let this play and hopefully this advertisement's almost done and again I'm testing all of my material on the Acer Aspire Revo 1600, which is a single core Atom processor. Um, it has one gig of RAM. So you see here, it's a pretty pretty good video because it's brand new. It's a trailer for their upcoming shows. And I'd say overall the quality is good and the video stream is really good. Um, even when I bring up the menu on top of it, it doesn't seem to choke too much. So that's, that's good. Uh, another thing to note is that I don't have any recordings or anything going on right now on the Revo. So we'll just pause out of this. And let's go ahead and exit out of here. And something that we uh, most people are familiar with would be uh, Hulu Desktop, which is pretty important. Uh, if you have the integrator, you could just hit that from the Media Center, but we don't want Media Center to reopen. Uh, so we'll bring up Hulu Desktop. I believe I had just a trailer for Tron coming up before I had Glee, and that's what I believe what uh, Fox was complaining about. So we'll go ahead and pull this up. And I already have it set to high quality. I've already tested uh, The Office, Glee, and a few others. And, and overall, it seems to be uh, really good quality. And um, uh, no, really issue, no big issues at all. It's, it's been taking a little bit to buffer. But besides that, it's been pretty solid. I'm also hoping that the audio quality is all right on this video. I've had some issues. It seems fine on my PC, but not when I upload to YouTube. So there's a little stutter from time to time, but overall, it seems to work just fine. Even when I bring up the menu, it's not too bad. I'm not even at full buffer yet. So you can imagine as you're watching it, as it fully buffers, um, it even gets smoother and smoother. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm impressed with it and I'm pleased. So I'll go ahead and boot out of here. Um, and then I have both the ActiveX control for IE and then I also have it for Chrome working. I've tested it in both browsers and both um, have very smooth playback as well. So we'll go ahead and boot up first inside of IE. Uh, we'll go to uh, the latest and the final um, episode of this season on The Office. We'll let this load up inside of Hulu. And this is with the new Hulu player. I'm not logged in so I will have to adjust the bitrate on it to 480p so bear with me while uh, we'll probably have to go through some advertisements like normal and one thing that I've never been pleased with is the speed of Hulu but usually I would just use Hulu uh, desktop instead of actually going to the Hulu website so all right, we'll go through a commercial like normal. Hopefully it's not too long. It looks like it's 30 seconds. So as we wait, again, um, 
if you guys have been using all the older release candidates, um, from here, it, it, from from my testing and everything, it looks like it's overall uh, really good. And I still got 15 seconds. I will talk about some new revos were actually announced last week. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do another Revo roundup and give you guys some more information about it because it's not just your standard uh, models like we had for the AR-1636-10 series. A little bit different Acer's doing. So we can see here, uh, let me go ahead and go ahead and adjust. Right now it's at 360p, I believe. I will go ahead and adjust it and update and it should stutter for a second. And you pretty much can't see it on this video because I set it to normal quality I believe instead of high quality to hopes Hulu or YouTube uploads it correctly but we're playing at 480p it's flawless even with the menu on top I don't have any issues at all that's something that I've been noticing is the overlays used to cause a big issue in many of the applications but now they don't um, so overall I'm very pleased with it and the transfer back to just normal is great um, one last thing uh, we'll test out is just YouTube. This is a Toy Story 3 trailer, and uh, this is the 1080p, so we'll go ahead and boot this up into full screen. And I'm going to jump to the middle part, and then I'm going to adjust to 1080p. And let it rebuffer out here. So as you can see, even with the overlay on top of it, it's working very nice. This is a 1080p YouTube video, and as you can see, I mean everything that I've that I've loaded just seems to play back perfectly fine, which makes me as a Riva owner extremely happy. Um, now, if we get Netflix HD working better on the 1600, I'd be I'd be extremely happy. So I've tested out a few other sites as well, um, and everything that I've seen so far from South Park Studios to uh, Fox, to you know, ESPN3, to anything like those sites. I've tested all those out. Um, and they all seem to be playing back just fine, and I'm very impressed. Uh, one last thing, if, as long as my batteries don't run out here. Uh, we'll see, I, I've tested a little bit of Boxy. It seems like the CBS videos use the CBS player, so those seem to work all right. So if you're watching like How I Met Your Mother or something like that, that seemed to be working all right. But I'll show you an example of what's going on if I take a look at um, at, at a different video, not from CBS, that's, that's perhaps playing. So let's take a look here at the... Everything seems to load just, just, just normally fine. So if I was to load like The Office, for example, and we'll go ahead and load it from NBC.com. And, and I've tested this with multiple sources, even with Hulu, and it seems to be the same result. So we can see it's attempting to detect the video and it goes into its little full screen mode of, of Boxy. And we'll try to click to go to full screen mode. See if it's detecting video. And normally, this is exactly what happens. It usually just sits here and doesn't do anything at all doesn't really do try to detect the video and sometimes if it does detect the video it still seems to be just like half and cut in half or other issues that are that are with it same thing I try to do uh, the latest uh, daily show from Comedy Central I had the same exact issues uh, with it and this might be a little bit better example um, But again, overall, this isn't really an issue with Flash. This is more of an issue with Boxy itself and how it processes videos, I believe, still. And you see we're just black screen here, and hopefully maybe it'll load. Oh, yep, it's cut right in half. So again, this is Mots over at RevoHTPC.com. Again, stick with me, and if any new updates come up, um, check back to the site, and I'll have you guys updated. And I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll have a full written review on the site. Thanks.